Listing Diario Editorial for July 8th of 2023. A prudent decision. For many reasons, the Dominican Republic has to preserve itself as a neutral country in the face of the Haitian crisis. Neutral means that given the dangerous state of confrontation between a de facto government and armed terrorist gangs, you cannot get directly involved in favor of one of the parties. It is only possible from diplomacy to accompany any effort that allows promoting a return to institutionality, order, and economic resuscitation without using or lending the territory to influence this process. Undoubtedly, this is a crisis that entails challenges to our national security, to our economy, and to the climate of peaceful and democratic coexistence in which we live. And what it cannot give up is to strictly defend its sovereignty, its laws, and its right to be an independent country in determining its own destiny. Therefore, it is inadmissible for any of the warring parties in Haiti to try to extend the conflict to our territory, with all the consequences that this implies. Both countries share the same island, and even the same symptoms of their historical accidents. The best key to coexistence without war is common neutrality, unless some imponderable makes it, makes it difficult or impossible. At the present time, and considering the volatile climate created by unruly African and Arab immigrants in Europe and other parts of the world, it is not prudent to allow actions in our country that could go off course and also lead to populations. Haitians living in our country, legally or illegally, must respect this strategic principle of neutrality and refrain from producing events that could alter it. Hence, it was opportune and prudent that the Ministry of the Interior and Police refused to authorize a march of the Haitian diaspora in the capital, even though it was called as a peaceful and pacifist activity. For Listing Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.